What up, people? Please give this video a like if you like the video. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the icon in the bottom right-hand corner of this video. And then make sure that you turn your push notifications on so you can receive updates every time we post a video here on the Vaniverse Gaming channel. Okay, people, welcome to episode 6 of my Beginner's Guide on Conan Exiles. Before we get started, I want to thank everybody for all the comments they have left under all my videos. I try and answer all the comments. I'm more than happy to help anybody who has questions on the game. Just leave them in the comments below. Uh, as for feedback, some people have mentioned that the volume is kind of wonky between my intro and the game itself. So I'm working on that. Hopefully this video it fixes it. If not, this weekend I'll try and get that fixed. So just leave the feedback below if it's still an issue. And then lastly, before we started this video, I wanted to cover some things in the Thrall video. Some people had some questions in the comments, so I just thought I'd answer them quick. Uh, one was, can Thralls be killed? The answer is yes, they're just like an NPC. Someone can hack them down and loot all their stuff. Uh, two is, do you have to feed them? No, you do not have to feed a Thrall. Three is, do they heal or can you heal them? You cannot heal them, but they do heal over time on their own. So once you place them, if they take damage and they don't die, eventually they'll heal back up to full. And then I believe there was one other question about thralls that people asked me, and it was involved with their leveling. You know, do they level up? So if you capture a level one thrall, will he eventually become a level two and a level three? And the answer is no, even though that is a pretty cool idea that's not implemented in this game. So with that being said, let's get into episode six. In this episode, I really want to show you guys about fish traps. I want to show you kind of what I've done in between videos to kind of get prepped for this one. And then lastly, I'm going to show you guys my ultimate secret base location. Well, we're going to put the elevators in. I'm going to try and show you where I build my final base. And if you guys want to do it, please do. It's just my own opinion. So that's really the goal of this video. So let's get started here. You'll notice on my bar, I now have an iron poignards. I got an iron pick, skinning knife, iron pike, and this Hycarian bow that I stole from one of the thralls that I broke. Basically, all this stuff, um, the bow is made on the carpenter bench. And your pick and your daggers and your pike and your skinny knife are all made on the blacksmith bench. And so, I also upgraded to light armor as well. And that is made using your armor bench here. And so, all these are unlocked under feats. And so if you go to your feats, you will see this is the armor bench. When you unlock armor, it gives you the bench, and then you can make light armor, which I'm currently wearing. You can also make medium armor and heavy armor, which I haven't made those yet because they, A, are heavier, and B, they require more iron and leather, and I really haven't farmed enough iron and leather to make that stuff yet. You'll also notice here's my iron poignards, an upgrade to my daggers, easy, level 13. I also have this iron pike. I only have an iron pike because it's amazing for PvP. If you're not on a PvP server, it's really not worth making an iron pike. But if you are on a PvP server, this is pretty much what everyone uses the PvP because the range, the damage, it adds a bleed effect, it adds cripple. It's just it's just nasty. So if you're if you want to PvP and you want to compete with other people around your level, make an iron pike. Uh, we talked about the skinny knife and the cleaver. So the skinny knife is basically what I use to harvest humans, and you can also use it to harvest all the other creatures you kill, animals, to get their skin or their hide. And that's what we're going to use in our tanner to break down into leather and tar, which we need a lot of going forward. But the, uh, obviously, here's the Hycarian bow. and make that at 20. We can make iron head arrows at 20. I unlocked masonry at 20 to make my tier 2. And then I also unlocked a large chest at 20 as well so that we can replace these crappy wooden chests. So we'll get into all that. But I just wanted to kind of show you what level you have to be to make all those new upgrades and go from there. So in this episode, we're going to focus on fish traps and elevators. And so a fish trap, I think it's at level 17, I believe, is when we saw it here. And the elevators are at 19. And so in order to make a fish trap, once you unlock the feet, you just come down here. All you need is some twig and some twine. 
And then in order to make an elevator, you actually have to have a carpenter bench. And you'll see right here, it requires iron, shaped wood, and twine. And then you have your vertical. So this is your up and down, and this is your horizontal. So I already made my elevators, but I still need to make, um, I still need to make some fish traps. And I still need to make some chests. I do want to make two chests as well. And I'll show you why I need those chests here in a second. Where's my twine? Do I have any? Okay. So let's make chests. So once you unlock the chest at level 20, you need iron reinforcements and shaped wood. So you can see I did some farming, got some bricks, got some good iron, made some reinforcements. Just keep farming as much as you can. You're going to need a ton of this stuff. Uh, to make anything. So now we're going to make two chests and I'm going to show you where I'm going to put them. Actually we could probably make uh, three chests because we'll keep one down here. Now iron chests have a 25k health versus these wooden chests that have a health of 5k. Also when you place your iron chest just make sure you place it not on a foundation because if you place it on a foundation and they destroy the foundation, it will destroy your chest. But if you place it not on a foundation, they have to take out 25k worth of hit points off of this sucker, which can't be done with explosions. You'd have to manually hit it for 25,000 times. So make sure to lock your chest as always. You'll notice that I do not have a fiber bed roll here because I put a bed down. And a bed right here requires 20 hide, 40 wood, 5 twine. And you can make a bed at level 4. And I make this folding bed just because it takes up less space. The reason why I made a bed is when you die, you have three options. You can respawn at a bed, a bed roll, or the desert. So by having a bed and a bed roll, it allows you to place two different locations where you can respawn in, which I'm going to show you here in a bit as well. So we're going to leave all this stuff here. We're basically going to focus on the fish traps right now. So we don't need any of this with us right now. We'll come back for that during the elevator part. But we do need the branches for the fish traps. Where to put branches. And we'll craft some of those. So very simple. I'll just show you that. So fish traps are very important because they are used in order to make it's probably your best source of ichor and it's probably your best source of oil which is a better um, fuel than coal i said in one of my videos fuel is the coal is the best fuel which is not the case it's actually oil what i meant to say is that coal is the best fuel that you can harvest but you can actually make oil which is a better fuel and burns longer you also notice that i did do some uh, modification here to get set up for a horizontal elevator We'll get more into that here when we get to the elevator portion. <laughs> so fish traps are pretty easy to build. Um, basically, you can do one of two things. You can just set them down as is on the ground. Depending on where the contact is, you should be able to get it without too much of a problem. Um, but I just put them in a room because if they're out here, people can easily loot them. So you can see here, I made just this little building. I would make a built bigger one. I mean, you could make this whole thing a fish trap room. Uh, but right now I just made this for demonstration purposes. And now you can see that I have my little fish traps. Now it looks like I have to destroy this one because I put it too close. Uh, let's take all this. So once you come in here, you'll see I have fish traps. And the reason why I put a wall and a door on it is because during non-raiding hours, no one can loot these. Otherwise, they're just like every other crafting bench. You can't lock them so people can loot them. You'll see you get three types of fish out of these things. You get unappetizing, savory, and exotic. And so basically, it's kind of how it sounds. The unappetizing is obviously the one that is not very good when you cook it and does not provide you near the same uh, food and health regen. The savory is next in line. And then the exotic is actually the best fish that you can eat. And so it's better for you. But the reason why we want these is this unappetizing fish. If we put this in a campfire, what it does is it actually turns the fish into food, but it also creates ichor. 
And the ichor is what we need a lot of to make a lot of different things in the future. So having, you know, 15 of these fish traps, which don't take a lot to make, and making a little fish trap uh, room down here, make it as big as you need, put down 15, 20, 30 fish traps. Then you will have plenty of ichor in order to do a lot of things you're going to need in the future. The other thing about these fish, all of them actually, will go into a fluid press. The fluid press is unlocked at level 25. And then basically you can put the fish in the fluid press and it will turn the fish into oil, which is, like I said, the better fuel. Now, the unappetizing fish, again, makes way more oil uh, than the savory, than the exotic. So technically you're supposed to eat the exotic and then maybe put all the unappetizing into the into the press and into the fire. I don't know. So that's kind of how that whole works, the fish traps. But I would suggest getting a little fish trap room started, getting... 10, 15 traps placed, and going from there. So now let's get into the elevators. Um, it's going to take me a minute to run up there, so let me uh, just fast forward to that part, and we'll explain the elevators. Okay, people, now that we're back up here, let's talk about elevators. So elevators are able to be made at level 19. Once you learn the feat, you have to make it on a carpenter bench. It requires 30 iron, 8-shaped wood, 10 twine to make, to make both the vertical and the horizontal elevators. So I did make a horizontal and a couple vertical. You also want to make some chests at this point because I'm going to show you a trick that we're going to use for the elevators. I have my chest right here. And so let's show you that. Uh, I also have a fiber bed roll that I put on my bar. Um, this is for something else. I was going to go up top. And show you the climb, but we'll show you that in episode 7 of the video series. So we'll put that back. Alright, so horizontal elevators are a little bit trickier than vertical elevators solely because you can't really line up the foundations. So I built this little ramp here. This isn't necessary, but if you want to build a horizontal elevator across, you can see this is the most important foundation right here and where I placed it. So if you didn't build any of this stuff behind here, since this doesn't really snap in, you have to kind of figure out where you want it, and then you gotta try and line it up with that side. So you notice to line it up, you need one, two, three, four, five foundations and a ceiling piece to get it to be about equal with this one. Once you have it kind of plumbed in, you just set your horizontal elevator on it, and then voila, you click on it and you go. Now. This little chain here is used if you're on the other side and the elevator isn't there. You can just pull on this and it will bring the elevator back to you. But if you're on the elevator, you can just click on this bad boy and it will go. So if you're like, oh no, someone's on the other side, you just click it and you head back. So you'll notice that after we place the elevator that it looks really off center and it looks like it's floating in midair. And that's because it's trying to connect to a ceiling piece it connects better to a foundation. So once we get across here, I'm gonna take it off and then reconnect it. That's the one great thing about elevators is once you place them, you don't have to destroy them to remove them. You can take them off and replace them. That's really good because anybody can use your elevators. So it's a very important thing to note is that if you put an elevator, somebody else can ride the same elevator up to your base. It's not like certain people can't access it. So all you do is click on E, and return to inventory. Now, if I put it on on this side on the ceiling and have it try and find the end location of a foundation, you'll see that it snaps much, much nicer. So we'll click on this bad boy and then we'll head over. So this is the max distance. I actually had to put a ceiling piece in in order to get this to go, but you can see how far this is and it's extremely helpful to get across to the frozen north without having to go down and build stairs and all that. You can kind of see where I had to line it up on this side as well as on this side to get it pretty even. I mean, it's still a little off, but to get it pretty nice so that you can just come straight across. So five foundations and a ceiling piece, one foundation, and hopefully you'll have the luck of snapping it together. And then when you're done, if you don't want anyone else to ride this, you just unsnap it. Same with a vertical elevator. It's going to hit whatever it lands on first. So for instance, if I were to put a vertical elevator, you'll see that, you see how the top and the bottom piece are kind of connected? 
So if I set it here, it's only gonna go as far as wherever it finds a surface. So we have to make sure that the surface we want it to find is either the ground or a foundation. So you can see there's nothing in our way. So I place this bad boy right here and I look down, you'll see that the end point is on the ground. So by putting a vertical one here and a horizontal elevator there, you can get across to the frozen north and all that iron, and you can get up and down without having to run all the way around to the freaking stairs. Then once you're done, you just pick up your elevators, you go into your nice, safe, cozy base, and you throw them in your nifty new shiny iron chest, and when you want to use them again, you just take them back out. Uh, note on the iron chest, one, don't forget to lock it. Oops, don't accidentally delete it like I just did. <laughs> Moron. And two, don't put it on a foundation. So I place my chest and it's not on a foundation. And that means that if they want to break into this chest, they actually have to hit it 25,000 times because it has 25,000 hit points. Where if I put it on a foundation, all they would have to do is blow up the foundation and then it would destroy my chest like you saw what just happened. Um, so never put chests on foundations because that's the easiest way for people to break into your chest and steal all of your stuff. So that's pretty much this episode on fish traps and elevators. Hopefully um, by putting this el these elevators here, it answered some questions and also is going to make it easier for you guys to farm. For the next episode, you want to have enough... Um, farming material for tier two like i said earlier when you hit level 20 we're going to make tier two and we're going to build our base up pretty high and so in episode seven i'll show you what we need to do to get up there and then kind of some tips and tricks on you know why i put it up there and why it's pretty much unrateable going forward appreciate you guys watching leave all your comments and questions below uh and yeah we'll see you in episode seven peace